Hello, it's Jeanette J Beauty and welcome to my channel. I just washed my hair and I've had it in this t-shirt for about an hour and my hair still feels really good and moisturized. Also, I just trimmed my hair and shaped it and my hair, it looks so much better to me. It's a little bit shorter, but nonetheless, my hair feels so much healthier. Next, I'm going to section my hair into quadrants and I always do this because it helps me to make sure that the product is really distributed in my hair really well. I do use the LOC method, so I use a leave-in conditioner and oil and then for the C, it stands for cream, but sometimes I'll use a mousse, I'll use a gel, I'll use a curling custard, I'll use something else, but I do follow that method. So leave-in conditioner and oil and then a curling cream, gel, mousse, styler, next. I'm going to start with this back section first. I like to work back to front. It just makes the whole process a lot easier for me. And I'm going to mist it with a lot of water. I find that misting my hair with a lot more water, adding that moisture back in, it really helps for the products to melt into my hair and to be more effective. After I sprayed a good amount of water to this section, I'm going to apply the Shea Moisture's 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment to my hair. And I really love this leave-in conditioner. As many of you know, coconut oil works really good in my hair. Also, this leave-in conditioner is really creamy. And because my hair is dense, I find that products that are more creamy, that are more dense, that are thicker, work a lot better in my hair. So the products that are more liquefied, they don't really work in my hair. I really need that moisture, I need that hold. So products that are more concentrated, that are thicker, that are dense, tend to work best in my hair. Next, to seal that moisture in, I'm gonna add some sweet almond oil, and I love sweet almond oil. I'm going to apply a generous amount, about three quarter sizes, to my hair from roots to tip. And then I'm going to twist my hair to lock in that moisture. Twisting the hair after you've applied these products really helps to hold that moisture, lock it in your hair. After I've applied the leave-in conditioner and oil to the other three sections of hair, I'm gonna return back to this section and start applying my perm rods. For my styler, I will be using the Design Essentials Natural Almond and Avocado Curl Enhancing Mousse, and I really love this mousse. I've been using it for years now, and it never lets me down. After I make a row in this back section here, I'm going to apply four pumps of mousse, and then divide this section in half. Now I'm gonna make sure that my hair is nice and smooth and tangle free and that all the products are works in my hair really well using my favorite rat tail comb by Evolve. And once my hair is nice and smooth, I'm going to apply the ends of my hair on the roller. And as you can see, I'm pulling my hair nice and taut. I wanna make sure that my hair, one, stays nice and smooth on the curler. Also, I don't want my natural hair texture peeking through. I really want my hair to be nice and sleek and smooth in this style. So to do that, you wanna make sure that that all the products are worked in your hair, that your hair is nice and smooth, and that you are pulling your hair taut on the curler well. So as you can see, again, I'm making sure that my hair is on the curler well by applying the ends, and I'm gonna roll the roller around a few times just to make sure that my hair is nice and secure on the roller. I'm gonna use my pointer finger and my thumb just to help me anchor the roller towards my roots, and once the curler is firmly against my root, I'm gonna secure it using the band side against the roots. Making sure that you secure the perm rod with the band against your root is really important for a successful perm rod out. I've received a lot of comments where people are having a little bit of difficulty with this step here. So as long as your parts are nice and clean, you're smoothing the products in with the rat tail comb, really making sure that your hair is tangle free and smooth. You apply the ends of your hair around the roller and making sure that your hair is nice and taut and snug on the roller. Even if you have to roll the roller a few times to make sure that your hair is nice and snug on the roller, make sure that you do that. This is going to allow for your hair to really be firmly and take the shape of the perm rod well once your hair is 100% dry. For me, I wind the perm rod up using my pointer finger and my thumb, and once the perm rod is against my root, I secure it with a band against my root, nice and snug. You don't want the perm rods to start coming undone or your hair to get loose because that's when your natural hair texture will peek through. I'm gonna show you several more times how I do this just to make sure that you do understand my process. And here's how a completed quadrant looks. Nice. 
I wanted to be as detailed as I could with making this tutorial so anyone that is still having a little bit of trouble getting a successful perm rod won't any longer. And here's how my hair looks once all of the perm rods have been applied. And I'm going to let my hair air dry while I go to sleep. It's the next day and here's how my hair looks. I like to start taking the perm rods out from the back and then I work my way to the front. I'm going to take them out in a spiral motion because I want to keep the curls integrity. And it feels so good to have all these rollers off of my scalp. Oh, my scalp can breathe. My hair feels so good. And it is not weighed down at all, which is why I love using mousses for these styles. Now I'm going to take some sweet almond oil and massage it on my scalp because it definitely needs it. I just want to make sure that my scalp health is on point and I use almond oil to help separate the curls as well because I don't want to have any frizzing in my hair while I'm separating the curls. So to separate my hair, all I'm going to do is gently tug at it and pull it down a few times and then separate each curl about five times. So for more hair, like a bigger section, of course, I'm going to separate a little bit more. I just want a certain look. So if I have to separate each curl, maybe three times, five times, six times, then I'll do that. My hair feels really good. It's soft, it's bouncy, and moisturized. After I separated all the curls, my hair just looks and feels so good. I have a little bit of volume going on. You know I'm going to separate my hair just a little bit more. I just love my hair really big. But overall, I just love how my hair came out thus far. Now for some added volume, I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and place it on my scalp and lift it up maybe about two to three inches but i'm making sure that i do not let me repeat do not comb through the curl because you will mess the curl up and the definition is not going to be the same make sure that you are keeping the comb closer to your root maybe just pick out two three four inches but do not comb the curl out and i'm going to continue this until i'm satisfied with the volume Next, I'm going to use this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges just to help slick down my edges. I'm not going to do anything fancy, just smooth my edges down. And this is it for this style. I absolutely love how my hair came out. I was looking in my viewfinder right there just to make sure that my curls look good. And they do. I love this volume. I love using these large perm rods because I get a different look. Each size perm rods definitely gives me a different look. I just love the body, the bounce overall. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you were having a little bit of trouble with 
doing perm rides that you don't have them any longer. And if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you're not, and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.